This video will demonstrate how to color cells using the Python library OpenPyXL. Here we have the blank document with which I'm going to start filling with some colors. I start by importing my load workbook function from OpenPyXL. I'm going to assign the WB variable my workbook, and I'm going to select the worksheet that I want to work with. Call that WS, and I'll be saving my work down here. And that's actually test, not text, dot XLSX. Since we haven't done anything yet, let's just open some more cells down here. Now, there are a few things that I have to do to access the actual filling content of the cells themselves. The first I have to do is create a pattern fill object. I have to create this pattern fill object from the openpyxl.styles library. So I'll be bringing that in first from openpyxl.styles import pattern fill. This is a function that exists in that style module and it accepts a couple of arguments. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to create an object. I'm going to call it green because one of the cells we will fill with green. I'm going to create a pattern, oops, fill object, and it accepts a number of arguments here. The first being the fill type that I want to provide. For our case, we're going to look at filling it completely. So we're going to do a solid fill. And then it also accepts a color. The way that it does this is it identifies two different color types, a start color and an end color. Since we're only going to be filling with one color, all you have to provide as an argument is a single color. I have pulled up this hex code website and I've selected, let's go ahead and select this green as a green color, 133700. Provide that as the start color. Then let's find a nice blue as well. Let's go ahead and select this blue. So we now have two different pattern fill objects, one, one of blue, one of green. Coloring the actual cells themselves is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is access the cell that you want to affect. For our case, let's go with C4 and D5. Cells in Excel have a dot fill attribute. I will provide that attribute right here for the worksheet. And all both of these are going to equal are the color that we want to assign. So C4, we will provide it the green pattern fill object. D5 is going to be the blue pattern fill object. I'll run this guy. So far, that looks successful. Let's save the document and see what happens. Here you can see the filled cells with the colors that we expected. Green at C4 and blue at D5. So it is quite simple. All you have to do is pull in the pattern fill function that accepts a number of arguments. One of them being the fill type that you want to provide. The second being the color that you're going to fill the cell with. You then assign the dot fill attribute of the cells you're interested in, the color that you want to assign them. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and informative. Please stay tuned for some more videos that are coming up on OpenPixel.